Well, Superstorm Sandy took its toll on the East Coast, leaving endless damage in its wake, including countless homes. There's ongoing research on how to make homes stronger. And right now, we bring in our Dave Malkoff, who just got a first-hand look. Dave, good morning to you. You know, yesterday, you were showing us, uh, you know, new homes being built in Mississippi, being built stronger. You actually went into the lab this time to see how it's done, and, and the research is being done to make homes better. Yeah, we were in Heather Adams' home. There she is painting her new house. It is a new house that can actually withstand hurricane force winds. But how do they know that a home can withstand hurricane force winds? Well, they literally take a house and put it in a lab and turn on the wind machine. During a storm like Sandy, many unseen factors can determine whether a house stands or falls. Finding those factors is what the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety is all about. Their giant wind wall, powered by its own substation, can produce 130 mile an hour winds and, like the Big Bad Wolf, can literally blow a house down. Today, our house is fortified with pieces of metal called hurricane straps. That can hold a house together from the roof down to the foundation. Now we're going to test if these hold in hurricane force winds, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're going to test this entire house to see that all of the straps hold for hurricane force winds. With cameras mounted inside and out, we are ready to roll. Three, two, one. Very little happened to our house on the first test. You know, all those pieces of metal that we saw connecting those pieces of wood That's together. That's keeping the house together That right is now. what's keeping the house together right now. So now we're ready to do the test once again. Right. We're going to repeat the exact same test as if those straps never existed. And we'll see what happens to the structure. Three, two, one. We ramped up the wind again and quickly started to see the house come apart. No, oh, there it goes. The siding's cracked. The house is coming apart. Let's try one more time. Three, two, one, go. Windows were shattered. Yeah, there it goes. A wall popped out. But the house did not come down. What did you learn today from this house? We saw the straps that were on the outside performed better than we thought. Oh, really? We had to come and cut them yeah. to, to get something to happen. Was it as exciting as we were hoping to see? No. But did we get some really interesting science out of this house? Absolutely. And that's all that matters. Well, science! To me, because I'm an engineer. Every single house that comes down in that lab we can learn something from it, and we bring that out into the field, and hopefully, hopefully, the new houses are built like that. That being after Katrina, they potentially could do the same thing after Sandy then, right? Absolutely. Yeah, the stronger building codes are definitely something that could help a lot of folks, especially in New Jersey. Thank you, Dave. Sure. More when we come back, including the latest StormCon.